There was this one um, specific moment in time when I fell in love with jazz and that was uh, one, I think it was it should have been some Friday night because uh, um, my college was outside London and then often we would you know just take the train and then go into London downtown and then you know I would go see plays and that sort of thing and then uh, we would you know try to do some shopping and so uh, I was um, just walking down Charing Cross Road and and there was one of these you know shops discount shops selling tons of books and CDs and stuff but there was you know a whole pile of CDs selling for really cheap and then um, so I just picked up this one which I kind of you know the names seem very familiar and it was um, uh, the duets of Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong and then because it wasn't you know expensive so I thought well yeah, why not, you know, just pick it up and, and check it out. And uh, so I bought it, went back to my dormitory and then listened, started listening to it. And I was like, wow, I mean, OK, so this is what they call jazz. I love it. And and then I just, you know, really got into it. I started listening to, you know, basically all the songs or you know, recordings that Ella has had done. And then and then got into all the, you know, big other big divas like Billie Holiday and Sarah Vaughan and, you know, you name it. Yeah. I love it that you're on first name basis, Ella, Billy, Lewis. Yeah, because you listen to them like day in, day out, and then it feels like you know them inside out. And and the thing with jazz is, um, especially vocalists, I think um, they, they really sing from within their hearts. And, and I think that's what singing is about. It's not about showing off your technique. I mean, um, it's about singing out a story, your, your emotions, and touching people. You really have to immerse yourself into the music. and. Um, for me, I kind of treat my voice as one of the instruments. Um, and, and I think, uh, well, even as a vocalist, you, you, you kind of have to. It's like, in a way, it's like making a movie. I mean, even if you're playing the lead character, you, you can't just like, OK, you know, that, it's my show. So everyone else, I, I, you know, move away. I mean, it's, it's really like a teamwork. You, you can't just um, shine yourself and then not care about the others. It, it's like, you know, every, everything is, you know, interrelated and, and, and everyone should complement, you know, one another. Do you envision yourself um, doing more English albums, uh, whether it's jazz? I, I can imagine you singing many different languages. Yeah, yeah. I love jazz and then and singing in English, is, 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 it comes very naturally to me. And, and also, uh, it's a language most people can, you know, understand and relate to and it's, uh, uh, I think with you know being a performer and with you know my singing and acting it's uh, the, the most important thing is really to be able to reach out to more people the, the more the merrier so so I hope that you know via a genre like jazz and also singing in English or perhaps you know in the future some other languages as well um, that would just allow me to um, you know reach out to a bigger audience never planned out my career funnily enough it um, I just kind of go with my gut feel and okay yeah this seems fun and it seems to be the right direction I should be going in um, th then I just do it I just follow my heart and 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 of course I keep my eyes out for, for opportunities I would like to have like this album or the Keanu Reeves movie they kind of just you know came up at pretty much the same time and uh, and yeah they're just fun things to do no matter what the outcome is my favorite track is the man I love Ah, okay, that's, that's also my husband's favorite track. Ah, okay. He figured um, there's got some, you know, inner meaning. So it's uh, dedicated to but him. But actually, no, I just, it didn't even occur ah. to me why I chose this track. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, you, you sound really <laughs> introspective and it was like you had an image in your mind when you sang the song. Um, yes, when I sing every song, I, I kind of, you know, get into character. <laughs> oh, of course, he's very proud uh, of the fact that, you know, I finally, um, it's, it's not so much that, oh, this is an inter international release and then so and so forth. It's more about um, you know realizing a well a lifelong dream and, and you know that's you're know, really cool. I mean not many people have the luxury to to kind of you know achieve such things and um, so I'm really lucky and and he's very happy for me. A couple of months ago when I was back in uh, London uh, during the Chinese New Year holidays, uh, I was actually doing promotion in the UK as well. So he figures, wow, great. I mean you should you know keep going in this direction because you know with such releases. I actually get to, you know, do a bit of work uh, in, you know, his part of the world, so that's uh, that's very convenient. <laughs> yeah, I can almost imagine that when you're singing the man I love on stage, you know, he can just go to his buddy and say, yep, yeah, that's yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, we've known each other for 
20 something years, I think. Um, but then uh, we, we kind of lost touch for many, many years um, in the middle. And, uh, and we kind of, you know, well, uh, fate brought us back together and then so we, we reconnected but then even then it took us many years before we finally um, walked down the aisle and uh, and then now because we're often you know not together we're in different places and um, so that kind of yeah uh, I mean we, we have to um, you know the separation uh, kind of keeps the flames alive and um, and the thing is uh, because you know we were college sweethearts so to speak so um, uh, it kind of you know makes me feel young. I always feel like I'm 17 <laughs> when I'm with him. These days it's really easy. If it was 20 years ago, it, it probably wouldn't have worked. But then now you know with uh, uh, Wi-Fi, FaceTime, you know whatever, it, it's it's not that bad. Mm. No time for that. <laughs> um, yeah, no, really, I, I don't really have much desire um, regarding motherhood. So uh, and I'm really way too busy. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy with, you know, how my life is, you know, unfolding as it is right now. Uh, it, it, it's a lot of um, long haul travels these days because um, uh, my home is actually in London now because that's where my husband is based. So, so that means a lot of, you know, flying around. Mm -hmm.